Hello, I'm Alex Fernandez with Live News Today. We are standing in Percyville, Virginia, inside of the Franklin Park, where 24 original paintings are being showcased to, the, to an audience, which were all part of the Bob Ross show, The Joy of Painting. Thanks for here. taking the time to speak with us. Um, for our audience at home, what is your name? My name is Elizabeth Bracey, and I'm the managing director of Franklin Park Art Center. And can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here with the Bob Ross paintings? So we have an exhibit, uh, the first exhibit of its kind, um, 24 original pieces of Bob Ross paintings. They were done in 1993 during the series The Joy of Painting. So um, each painting has a plaque next to them that has a quote from the show that Bob said while he was painting that particular piece. So I had no idea, but your your mom, yes. I heard this in an article, said, you know, we need to bottle this up, his persona. So yes. how exactly was that? I mean, you explained a little bit about the dinner and how that went, but was it more like, um, you know, we'll kind of market you or how? Sort of. It started out with no television was, was thought of at all. It was mostly taking Bob's classes and getting more people to to go, um, to, go to the classes. And the classes, well, not very well attended. He did still. okay. He did okay. And what happened was my father decided, let's make a little commercial that we can put on you know, the local channels to... to uh, Attract people? Exactly. To right. Yes, you read this story, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> so they went to the public television station locally, and Bob was doing a little bit of painting and filming, and this TV station manager saw it, and they said, he said, you know, why don't you guys do a television show? He's really good. It's really remarkable what he does. And, you know, his personality and that sort of thing. So that's how the television started. The man you see in the video is the father of Bob Ross's secretary. His voice was very dim and could not be picked up by the microphone. Yet he was very proud to be at this event and showcase the hand-signed Bob Ross book, which was given to his daughter as a gift. Now, I've had a, a question that kind of has been, I'm curious about. Yes. Um, now, he, I know he's had his son, right. uh, Steve, on the Steve, program. Steve, that's right, yes. Um, what, has he been involved with anything? He, or No, in fact, we're not sure. I think he's just been very reclusive. Mm -hmm. um, he wasn't part of the company that, that Bob formed with his wife and my parents. Huh. And he did used to teach classes back in back in the nineties when you saw him on television. Right. Mm -hmm. But we're not sure what he's doing lately. So there's like no contact then. Not not really, no. And people ask and we're just not sure. Um, people tell us they've tried to find him on the on the social media and I've that heard. sort of thing. Yes, and there isn't any you know, maybe this will bring him out. That'd be wonderful. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. And um, so I, I take it it's a team effort that you, you guys are going to show the, these artworks to uh, places like Japan or across the globe. Yes, yes we are. We're, we're actually getting inquiries already from galleries in other countries. And we're right now we're just collecting all the inquiries and then we're going to make a plan mm -hmm. for how to satisfy everybody. But all the countries are coming.